Did you hear about the burglar who stole a calendar? He got 12 months. <laughs> Yo, 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 people, welcome back to another hardware review, and we are back with Freemax. This time we're looking at the Gem 25 Watt Pod Kit. Now, when they say pod kit, it's actually one of them disposable tanks. We had the Preco from Horizon Tech, we had the Mate from Blitz, and this is the Gem from Freemax. And we know that Freemax make really good tanks. We had the Mesh Pro, we also had the Fire Loop. So, how does the Gem stack up to it? We're going to find out. Right, this is the front of the box, this is the back of the box. And this is all you get inside that box. That's simple, that's simple. Let's have a little look at it. It is plastic, fantastic, but it's so light. It's 67 grams. Comes in four different colours. It comes in white, black, red and blue. Right, let's do like we normally do. We'll go top to bottom. We'll start off with the tank first. It is a 2 mil tank. Like I said, it is disposable. It comes with a 0.5 ohm coil, a 1 ohm coil. So you can do mount along, direct along. It is military grade, grade stainless steel mesh. It also has T fiber cotton in it as well. Now to fill it up, it's very simple. There's a bung at the top. You just open that up, fill it up, leave it for five minutes and you are ready to go. It has got um, adjustable airflow. It's only on one side and it does lock off. The tank itself is 22 mil roughly as I've measured it. Right, let's have a look at the device itself. Like I said, it is plastic. You've got um, a spring-loaded 510 connection at the top. At the bottom, you've got their website. It does say it's Freemax. You've got um, don't vape in a bin and your kite marks. And you've also got designed by Freemax. Now, the battery on this is a 1,300 mAh battery. Um, it does show you different indicators. When it's 100%, it's green. 25, it's bl uh, 75, sorry, it's blue. 50% uh, it's like a pinky colour and 25% it is red and you are ready to charge. This also comes with three different settings, power settings. And how you do them is three clicks and it'll move you through them. Um, and the way that works is if you're using, it sort of depends what coils you're using. If you're using a 0.5 ohm coil, on red it's 15 watts. If you're using the 1 ohm coil, it's 12 watts. Medium is blue, that's 20 watts and 14 watts. And when it's green, which is hard, it's 25 watts and uh, 15 watts when it's hard. Shouldn't be saying stuff like that. And like I said, the only thing you're going to do is three clicks and it'll move you through the actual uh, settings as well. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Well, that's roughly the device itself. So the pros and the cons are the bits that we've missed. It's been a while since we've done the bits that we've missed. The actual charging port is at the bottom of the screen. Just there. See, I've missed some stuff out. <laughs> right, let's do the pros and the cons, and we'll start off with the cons. I think one of the biggest cons that people are going to say is about the actual disposable tank, all about the environment. Now, when the Preco first came out, uh, we tested it at the Vape Finder London show. Uh, there were a number of reviewers there, and we all tested it. It was corking flavour. But everybody was about the environment and can you recycle it. Then a little bit later on, Horizon Tech did come out um, and put a statement out that you could actually recycle the tank itself. You could put it in your bin or you could send it to them and they'd recycle it for you. I'm unsure if you can do that with the gem. I have tried to look up, but I can't find anything about it. Personally, I can't see why you can't. If you can do that with the uh, Preco, I'm sure you could do it with the gem. But I have tried to find out. If I do find anything else like that, I will add it to the video. What else? It is made out of plastic. Some people aren't going to like it's actually made out of plastic. It is square, but it doesn't feel that bad in your hand at all. Let's go on to some actual pros. We'll start off with the tank. Now, like I said, Freemax makes some corking tanks. Is this any different? Let's have a taste. Decent clouds, decent flavour. Now that's the one ohm coil and that's on the green setting which is the maximum or hard and that's coming out at 15 watts. Really good clouds and the flavour is absolutely corking. I've had this tank on here roughly about six uh, to seven weeks and it's still going corking. Um, they do say that you can fill it up 20 times and the flavour is exactly the same. They tested it over 120 days on it. It is military grade um, stainless steel and it's also got T fibre cotton in it. 
I'm unsure if that's that makes any difference. I've tried bamboo and all the other ones. I'm not quite sure if that makes any difference at all. But the flavour and the clouds are cooking. This is obviously the mouth to lung. The direct lungs are 0 0.5. The max of that one is 25 watts. Again, the flavour and the clouds from that are absolutely brilliant. No problem with it at all. Obviously, people are going to bring up with it because it's a disposable. But all in all, I do like the tank. Now, you can get these actual tanks for £5.95 or so the cheapest. And you get two of them. <clears throat> so, you've got to think, that's as cheap as buying one coil. And like I said, you're getting six to seven weeks out of it. Obviously, if you're chain vaping, um, you're not going to get that as, as many weeks out of it. But, yeah, that's not bad, is it? Six to seven weeks. Right, the device itself. Um... 1,300 mAh battery. It seems to last forever. Uh, it takes about an hour, an hour and a half to charge, so it takes a while to charge up. But the battery is easily making it through the day, especially with the one ohm coil. No problems with the battery at all. It has got them four indicators, 100 watts, 75 watt, 50 watt, and 25 watts, and then obviously you're ready to charge it. Um, it's got three different power settings. Again, that's just three clicks. It goes from the red, blue, and green. Um, I think on the 0.5, I'm just looking at my notes here, 0.5 ohm, it's 15 watts on red, 20 watts on blue, and 25 watts on green. On the 1 ohm coil, it's 12 watts, 14 watts, and 15 watts. It's a corky flavour. Don't mind the design, fits nice on there. Five clicks on, five clicks off. So all in all, what do I think about it? I think this is perfect for somebody who's coming off the stinkies. Very light device. It's nothing technical to do. You've got three settings on it. Going to last you all day. Um, the tank's not bad at all. Decent flavour, decent clouds. It also gives you an option because it comes with a mouth-to-lung and a direct-to-lung. This is also going to be somebody's all-day banger. Somebody who works on a construction site or the office or even if you just want to leave it in the car. It's so light and very, very simple to use. If you drop it, you're not going to break it. What more do you want? All in all, I quite like it. So big thumbs up from uh, Little Bro. I know a lot of people say you, you seem to like everything, but there's nothing wrong with this device. If there's something wrong with the device, I'll tell you about it. And for me, for what it is, you've got to think what it is. It's something that somebody's either going to come off the stinkies, it's going to be their first device, gives them a chance to try direct to lung or mouth to lung. Three simple power settings on it, good long-lasting battery life, decent flavour, decent clouds. Or like I said, somebody who's going on a construction site, drop it, bang it, it's not going to make any difference. It's plastic and very, very light. Well, people, this has been another review by Little Bro. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Go and check me out there, people. And also, if you've liked this video, make sure you like, subscribe and share. Get me to that new magic number. And there's one last thing to say. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.